Hey everybody, it's me, Greg Manorino. How are you today? It is Monday, June 4th, 2018. All right, people, here's what's going on, and there was opportunity upside down, backwards, and sideways. And you and I are going to rip its freaking face off and take advantage of this in every way that we possibly can. There's nothing wrong with that, uh, as far as I'm concerned. So here we go. As far as I can see right now, the markets, the stock market, is in kind of a sweet spot. And I've been explaining to you all for I don't know how long, actually I do know how long, since the election of President Donald Trump, that this market was going to go in one direction and that was higher. Frankly, I nailed that to the wall. The day after the election, as a matter of fact, when I said, hey, this is a game changer publicly and stocks were going to move higher. Uh, after the Obama era. Well, anyway, let's move forward. Uh, why why are uh, stocks or the stock market right now, uh, why is it in a sweet spot? It's very, very simple. Okay, today, right now, the dollar is down again. This is also bullish for metals which are priced in dollars, although you know as well as I do, there is no price discovery mechanism behind uh, gold and silver at all whatsoever it's absolutely fake so is everything else and that's why again stocks are in this sweet spot the 10-year yield is huge here and I've covered this um, it is well below that red line in the sand that the, and the market found out where that is around 3.1 now again that's going to move around depending on dollar strength but I would say that red line, which I hate to talk about, is about 3.1 at this time. So the 10-year yield is just 2.91. Market likes it here. Now let's look a little further down the yield curve. The spread between the 10 and the 30 is 14.5 basis points. It's pretty flat, the yield curve, but market seems comfortable here as well. So we got a weak dollar once again. We got a bond market. You can't hold a bond here unless you're you want to lose cash uh, based on the actual rate of inflation. So there's only one place to go. This is this is this is being created on purpose, and this is why it's all fake. The environment we are in kind of pushes. I mean, I mean not kind of, but actually does um, push investors into the stock market. This is the game that has been going on to keep the illusion real. Um, and they keep pushing that narrative and it drives me out of my mind. I'm talking about the mainstream, how, oh, there's a housing shortage. There is no housing shortage, zero. There's only a shortage of affordable homes, those on the lower end of the spectrum. Uh, they're building everywhere, especially here where I live. It's everywhere I look, there, there's, there's houses being put up. But they're above the ability for the average guy or the average girl to afford it. So you know we are in a bubble. Very, very simple. That doesn't even matter. Here's what we need to be doing. It could not be easier. It's like taking candy from a baby, seriously. Just like the other day with the Trump tweet, I told you there was no risk in the market. Boom. There's no risk here. As long as they are keeping the 10-year below its red line and the market seems to be responding not unfavorably to the flattening yield curve. That weaker dollar, huge. So with these things in mind, you need to be in stocks or derivatives of, uh, like me. Uh, I'm, I'm an equity derivatives trader. You all know that. Um, I still believe, beyond any shadow of any doubt, you need to be investing in precious metals, betting against the debt, becoming your own central bank, Debts and deficits are going to continue to explode to the upside, period. Cryptocurrencies are getting hit across the board right now. These things, especially Bitcoin, and this is not just my opinion, and I said it first before anybody else, um, were an indicator of risk in the market. In other words, Bitcoin moving higher meant the market wanted to take on risk. Unfortunately, Bitcoin cryptocurrencies have now taken on almost like a gold and silver role. I'm not saying they are like gold and silver, but with regard to market risk. So uh, with cash now bleeding out to a certain degree of cryptocurrencies, it's going to go back 
into the stock market. So again, perfect scenario um, for stocks to continue their run higher here. And what's the other big reason? You know what it is. The market is being weaponized. It's a political tool to be pushed higher right up into these midterms. And then you and I are going to have to reevaluate this. Anyway, um, with that said, I'll see you later.